Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy X coming at y'all with a brand new video. In this video, I'm talking to you guys about the best ways to make MT right now on the auction house with its current state. Now, there's been a lot of different things that have kind of happened, and one thing that I'm going to be showing you guys that it's a little, little low-key. You know, that's why I'd be a little bit um, thinking about it. But if you guys logged in, there was a heat check award that came out yesterday in PAX. So people that got it got a bunch of heat check cards. And actually, one thing that I did is I went ahead and pulled a bunch of heat check cards. Now, I know it doesn't look like I got too many, but I was 98 away from Jalen Rose at the start of this. And now I'm, you know, at Jalen Rose and working towards Scottie Pippen. I'm going to try to get him by the end of the week and then do like an Evo Scottie Pippen stream for a little while. Try to do that. But basically, what I'm trying to get at is heat checks are a good thing to try and snipe today. The prices have kind of dropped drastically for a lot of them because the daily reward was basically a guaranteed heat check or at least a base heat check pack for a pretty good chance of getting heat check. So a lot of these cars are going for cheaper than they initially were and you might even be able to get some bid snipes on them. So I'd check it out. But what we're mainly going to be focusing on in this video is the buzzer beaters packs. Now, obviously the one filter that I tell you guys to do every single time is Galaxy Apple minimum buyout 500. Um, I'm going to just put on a maximum bid and, um, you know maximum buyout just because some people like t the fact that um that's there i personally you know really don't care either way i think it all just works the same but obviously we're doing this because any of the galaxy opals that we pull and if we put them back up on the auction house we're going to be making a bunch of profit no matter what it really doesn't matter like if we do it we you know we're gonna get it yeah you know, if we get one profit easy um and the ones that we're gonna be looking for on this filter specifically are going to be um, Kevin Durant, we're looking for um, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar because he just came out. He's one of the cards that we're really trying to get. Obviously, you know, Michael Jordan would be nice to get. Andre Karolinko, Derek Rose, Tracy McGrady. Those are the guys that we're really looking for. Honestly, any Opal is a W, but there are some that do go for a bit more MT. Those being the newer ones that came out. T-Mac, I think, is the Opal that's going for the most right now. It might be Kareem, but I think it's T-Mac. Yeah, it's T-Mac. <laughs> Kareem is just slightly under. So if you get either of those, you're making a bunch of profit. Um, now we're going to talk about the more consistent filters you're going to be finding. It's the Pink Diamond Buzzer Beaters with these new guys, Pete Maravich and De'Aaron Fox. So obviously, you could go to Pink Diamond Theme Buzzer Beaters and check out what you know, the cheapest prices are going for. And check it out every single time and kind of see what is going on and obviously because these guys have just dropped they're going to be the more cheap ones De'Aaron Fox and Pete Maravich but there also are two others in here as well Chris Webber and Drazen Petrovic so you can get all four of these guys at the same time now the odds of you getting Drazen or Chris Webber are a lot lower than a Pete Maravich or a De'Aaron Fox but it's still worth trying to get them so the lowest that it's looking like you know we could pick up this De'Aaron Fox for is 34 700 roughly and with our 10 percent tax it's going to be 31 uh 230 um exactly um that we can pick up and break even if we sold for that exact price but again we're probably going to undercut by a bit so we want to go down a little bit lower and i personally would look for anything below like 31k as a filter so minimum buyout 500 maximum buyout 31k maximum bid 100k and just keep dropping this this is roughly what i would look for every single time just try to pick up any of the cards that pop up on the filter uh, if you get a Chris Webber, you're looking really nice because that Chris Webber is a really, really, really good card. And he goes for more MT than the other guys do. And again, if you get a De'Aaron, a Fox, Pete Maravich, even a Drazen, you'll still make some MT, maybe a little bit less, but you'll still make a good bit of MT. And again, if you guys don't want to see some of these where you're going to make very little MT, you can always drop the filter a little bit lower. Um, it won't be as consistent, but you know, you'll be finding stuff like, um, basically, you'll be finding ones for, you know, 25k for example and every single time you get one you have a good profit but obviously 25k won't pop up as consistent as a 31k one will so you're you're trading off more profit for less consistency so it's all really based on what you want to do in that specific you know scenario <laughs> so again i think these are great filters to do and to try out and it's worth your time to spend a little bit on each one of these. And again, like I say, if the filters get dry and it's not looking like you can do too much uh, with them right now, go play a game of Triple Threat online and come back to this. That'll give you a nice five, 10 minute break. And maybe in that time while you're gone, the market will heat up a little bit. Again, it's Wednesday. It's 
you know, almost noon. So we're starting to get closer to times where packs are going to be, well, people are going to be pulling packs a little bit more, but still not a great time to be sniping. Um, another filter you're going to want to do is Diamond Buzzer Beater. 500 minimum buyout, maximum buyout. Again, 100K, just like we always do. And this one, you're going to be looking for Tony Kukoc. But the reason that we're doing the Diamond overall is because we also want the chance at pulling that Paul Pierce, who goes for roughly like 23 or so, K, okay, I think. Something around those margin lines. But Tony Kukoc's price is dropping very fast, making him an even better budget player because the farther he drops down, obviously, the better he is for some of you budget guys. I really love this card. Obviously, did gameplay on it. Check that out if you guys haven't seen it already. But he's going for about 12,000, you know, 500 MT, which isn't a lot, but he <laughs> means when we take our 10% tax off, it's 11,250. So anything below that we can go for. I'm going to look for 11,000 and below. Anything. Uh, of that caliber is good to me and again there's always that chance that we can get that Paul Pierce so again just sit on the filter a few times and try to get something out of it again you might not find uh, some things based on the time of day it really all depends and it's all about if people are pulling packs these ones were a little bit more hyped because of that Kareem Abdul-Jabbar but the buzzer beater packs in general usually don't have too great of luck so it's really a toss-up on if you will be getting things or uh, not so you know Take that as it may be. Um, another filter, again, that I think you guys always should check out is the Silver 20 NBA Series 2. Minimum buyout 500, maximum bid 100k, and a maximum buyout about 900. This one is getting a little weird though because sometimes when the packs first drop, there's actually going to be significantly more, you know, of those cards up at the time which means there might actually be most of the cards or silvers going 4k you can see they're actually super cheap right now so this filter can be a little weird and obviously change your prices to fit what the market is going for because certain ones are starting to tank in price just because of how much they're flying out of packs but again if we pull one at you know nine if pull one at 900 and then sell it at 1k and it actually is going for 1k I mean, you take 100 away from that, you're still break completely even, so I think it's okay. And you can always just add them to your collection and save up. As you guys have seen, I went ahead and added basically all of them. The only ones I don't have are Giannis, um, Harden, LeBron, and AD, and then Damian Lillard, who I'm probably going to grab pretty soon if we're being honest. But still, you can always keep them and move your collection level up. And then the last filter that I was talking about earlier is Heat Check. Now, the Heat Check is a little weird. There's not as consistent of snipes but what i've found to be a better method than just sitting here going heat check you know 1700 for example or below is actually to go and search by team i know it sounds weird and maybe anti-productive but if we were to go over to the rockets who were, had tyson chandler who actually just popped up sometimes or at least yesterday i know it's probably gonna make it look like a fool is yesterday there were actually ones that popped up lower than this price was showing. I'm actually going to pick up Tyson Chandler because it's a decent price more. But basically, what was happening yesterday is there it would show cards 1800, and maybe I would search for 1800. But then there actually would be cards that were cheaper than that 1800. So what I found to be a better method, what what I just did. I changed that what I found to be a better method was actually I went team by team and started picking up cards and I was able to get a bunch for you know 1500 and stuff like that but again it's all based on what you want to do I think if there's not too many people on you should be able to do a right here about a 1500 is what I'd search for and keep doing this and you should be able to find things again if the filter doesn't be popping up and you know there are some cards up like that. We got we got Selden Brown for 1200. I'll definitely be able to sell him for at least uh, 1.7. That's a bit of profit right there. But if the filter doesn't seem like there's things popping up, you can always go and change conference. Whenever you get more specific in the auction house, uh, for some reason it works better. I don't know why, but it does sometimes. So you can always check it out and see what's going on. But that's the best ways that I have found to make MT in the auction house at this current point with the buzzer beater packs and the free heat check cards that just came out. So check it out if you guys haven't already. Like the video if you guys did enjoy and if this helped you out at all, comment down below any other ways you guys are making MT right now. Miss snipes, all that sort of stuff. Love talking to you guys in the comments. Subscribe if you guys are new on that road to 4.7K. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. 
and I will see y'all in the next video. And I got this soul.